So, in the last video, I showed you how to make a mod 2 counter, and that would count from 0 to 1. So, this time, I want to make what we call a mod 4 counter, and I really want to count from 0 to 3. So, let's write the two-digit binary numbers for 0 through 3. So it would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, correct? So how would we make this out of JK flip-flops? So I've used the JK with the asynchronous preset and clear, and it has a positive triggered flip-flop. And how we're going to do this is we are going to tie preset and clear to 5 volts. They are all have the bubble on them, so they're active low. Okay? So when we tie them to 5 volts, we've just turned them off. We're not going to connect Q to anything. Here to the first clock, okay, this one's going to be our first JK flip-flop. We're going to connect the clock that we have, or on our parallax development board, that's called the pulse generator. Okay, so the other thing is I want to put the JK flip-flops in the toggle state, so I'm going to connect them to 5 volts as well because I want them to be 1 all the time. So I want JK so that both flip-flops are in the toggle state. All right. Now when we're doing that, then our output is going to be our, going to be our cues, and they're going to go to LEDs like this here and here. And this would be our least significant bit. And this would be our most significant bit. Now, the other thing is we want the Q output from this one to also feed the input of our clock for the next JK flip-flop. So it's going to go around here. I'm just going to jump over that. So Q goes to an LED and it also feeds the clock to trigger our next one. So you would have the case where these were both off and it would be 0, then it would be 1, then it would be 2, then it would be 3. So this would be a 0 to 3 up counter. from JK flip-flops.